Let's just see what we got here. Just do that. Right, go and see if anyone can see you, Indy. Can everyone see me? Can everyone hear okay? Yes. Yes, we got volume okay. Right, let's do this. Are we ready, Andy? I don't say yes. <coughs> Come on in. Yay! Someone's already gave us a thumbs up. Have they? Already a thumbs up, that's good. Good morning, guys, and thank you very much for joining us for the third of our live cook-alongs with Thermomix. Um, let me just introduce myself very, very quickly. In case you haven't caught any of the uh, cook-alongs before, I'm Dean Edwards, and this is my little sidekick. Indy! Who's rapidly becoming the star of the show. Um, but welcome to our series of live cook-alongs with Thermomix. I'm absolutely buzzing to be working with Thermomix again. On this latest project, I'm gonna show you how easy the TM6 will make your life when it comes to putting a meal on the table for your family and friends. Last week's live was a load of fun as well, wasn't it? Yes. We did fakeaways. Make sure you check that out as well. All of the links to the other videos will be down in the description. But over the coming weeks, I'm going to be showcasing lots of different recipes. We've already touched on sweet treats where we made a beautiful crumble, that didn't we? Was the best. That was the best. We've had uh, fakeaways where we did a lovely chicken shawarma kebab, and there's loads more to come over the coming weeks. Basically, these live cooking sessions are going to tick a box for absolutely everyone and show you why Thermomix will become an essential piece of your kitchen. Now, very, very importantly, we're also supporting some amazing charities. So every week, we're supporting three different charities. And today, we are supporting the Oak Haven Hospice, um, Women's Aid North Wales, who are based in Colwyn Bay and Parkinson's UK. Now, I'm sure you'll all agree, these are absolutely incredible causes and you can both donate and find out more about the charities down in the links in the description below. So make sure you go and check that out. And while you're there, Indy taught me this, make sure, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, like the videos, what else do we need to tell them? Oh, make sure to turn your notifications on. Turn notifications on, leave a comment as well because feedback is massively, massively important. Um, right, I will say, I'll probably try and keep this a little bit shorter today because last week I ran over about 30 minutes. So <laughs> we're going to try and make it a bit shorter. We've got an amazing recipe for you today. And we are cooking up some beautiful Thai salmon parcels with jasmine rice. Uh, this is one of my favourite, favourite meals, especially during the summer. It's absolutely delicious. Right, Andy, going to come and help us? Yeah. Right, the first thing we're going to do is, I'm hoping a few of you guys at home are actually cooking along as well. We've got some dried chilies. Now, we got these from our local, uh, local Asian supermarket. I'm just gonna show you these here. Because the one thing you wanna do at the very start, so these come like this, and they're dried. We're just gonna rehydrate them. So into a little bit of boiling water, stick the chilies in. You wanna let them soak for around 10 minutes. And the reason we do that, they sort of rehydrate, and they go nice and sort of spongy. But these are gonna add wicked heat, but loads of flavor to our Thai curry paste. So if you get your chilli soaking right now, <clears throat> we are going to make the dressing for our lovely Thai salad. Now, this actually uses one of India's favourite ingredients. What is that? Mango chutney. Mango chutney. Whenever we get a takeaway, the mango chutney <laughs> in is there, just scooping it into our mouth, you know, with, with a spoon. Um, but a Thai dressing has so many different flavours, you know, you've got the hot, sweet, salty, sour. So that's what we're going to try to achieve. The first thing I've got here, I've got a clove of garlic, which I've just peeled. So I'm going to pop that into my mixing bowl, put the lid on with the measuring cup in, and we are going to go three seconds, speed seven. Okay, this is going to blitz this garlic right up. Chop it right down, be beautiful, be ready for our salad dressing. So, just using, oh, I've, I've, have you noticed as well, I've changed the sound on our, our Thermomix. How? You just go into the settings and we've changed it. So we've made it, because it went on and on last week. So we've changed that. So you can see here, the garlic is absolutely blitzed up, which is what we want. We don't want any huge lumps in our dressing. So you just use the spatula just to scrape down the sides. Now we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients in. So what we're gonna do, we need 
Because we're going to weigh in as we go, I'm just going to pop it onto the scales. So I need 10 grams of mango chutney. So as we add that in, this is the sweet element. Okay, so we've got that there. We've also got, let's have a little look, 15 grams of soy sauce. Soy so sauce is the best. I'm just going to press tear to set it back. So just weigh in, and you can be so specific as you're weighing in ingredients in the TM6. So there we go, 15 grams. We've got 20 grams of olive oil. So again, press tear, sets it right back, and then we're going to add in 20 grams. Here we go. Perfect. Right. Now we need a bit of acidity. So we're going to use some fresh lime. Now I've got a great tip for you when it comes to lime. <clears throat> Do you know how you get some extra juice out of a lime? Go on then. Go on then. Do you want to show me how you do this? Use the palm of your hand and just roll it on the board. And that just breaks up the little segments inside and get more juice out of our lime. Another trick you can do as well is you can pop the lime in the microwave for five seconds. That would have been way easier. It would have been easier, but I want to work out, get, get those muscles going, eh? No. Right. <laughs> it hurts. So actually in this dressing, we want around the juice of a whole lime. So I'm just going to cut it in half. And because we've rolled it, it makes it really easy to get the juice out. Okay. So we're nearly there. And all we're going to do once I've got the lime juice in, we're just going to mix it. Okay, so 10 seconds on speed four. Right, there we go. That is going to be beautiful. Hot, sweet, salty, sour, all the flavors of Thailand. Right, so I'm just going to take it off the scale Let's go back, and we want 10 seconds, speed four. And that's just going to mix everything together. And that is our salad dressing done. Easy as that, my girl. So I've got a little cup, I'm going to pop it in there, pop it to one side. There we go. Looking at all these ingredients, making my mouth water. I know, this. I love these sorts of ingredients. Look at that, Indy, this salad dressing. Absolutely it looks like it's delicious. Chutney and well, it's got the mango chutney in because that's going to give us our sweetness. But if you wanted to use a little bit of honey, absolutely that would work as well. So we're just going to pop that to one side. I'm just going to give this a little rinse a second. Yeah, right. Okay. I will be back. Let's pop that there. Now, during the month of June, through a mix, are offering you the chance to get a reduced bowl. So if you buy through a mix, a second bowl. So if you buy through a mix in the month of June, you can get the bowl for fifty pounds. Now, if you already have a TM6, you can also buy an additional bowl for a reduced price of one hundred and nineteen pounds. And they actually really help because you can just switch over. I'm going to use that one to cook my rice in a minute, but this. Is all about our dressing. Okay, so I've got a beautiful, beautiful red Thai curry paste, and you can just see all these amazing, fragrant ingredients right in front of us. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to move this. And the first thing we're going to do is toast our coriander seeds. Now check these out here. These are whole spices, and I truly believe whole spices they taste so much better. And we are going to toast these in our thermomix mixing bowl. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop. The seeds in there, there's two teaspoons, okay, they're going to go in, and then we want to do this two minutes on the Varoma Speed 1. Okay, let's just set that. Two minutes, so just turn the dial all the way around to hit the Varoma setting. Speed 1, and that is going to toast those seeds. Now when you toast ingredients, especially seeds, you can do it in a frying pan, obviously that's a traditional way of doing it, and you do it in a dry pan. But it just it releases the oils from the spices and you just get so much more flavour. Now, smell this bowl. Now, I mean, fresh uh, dried coriander, it's, it's got a great flavour. You smell this in a minute. It doesn't smell. Well, it doesn't but smell, it's strong. No. Because there's nothing in there. Well, I know, but you can a little bit. A little bit of smell in there. Can you smell it? It smells really good. But in a minute, once we've toasted these spices, it's a completely different ball game and it's all about building up levels of flavour. So, once these spices have had a chance to toast, we're going to blitz them up, okay? 
So I'm gonna do one minute, speed 10, and we are gonna grind those spices right down. But let me, whilst that's happening, I just wanna show you the rest of our ingredients because these are beautiful and fragrant. We have got here, now I did prep these beforehand, some beautiful lemongrass, we've got some garlic, some shallots, obviously a red Thai curry paste relies on some really nice spicy chilies, with some fresh ginger as well. Someone had a really good fact for us, you could also put lemon and lime in water too. Absolutely, absolutely. Well this is another ingredient, I don't know whether you guys are familiar with this, this is kaffir lime leaves. And I told you about these. Now you can get these in your Asian supermarkets and actually some supermarkets in the UK do stock them. Um, but if you can't use these, you can use just lime zest anyway. So that's perfect. So let's go back, let's check out our spices. <clears throat> and we are gonna to start to put together what we've got here. Another 21 seconds, but I can almost smell that flavor coming out, right. Well, like smoke smoke cheese gonna go up in a bit from the smell Yeah, it's nice, it's nice, right. Nice, but <laughs> Have we got any more questions on there? Uh, uh, Move that one out maybe. Right, here we go. <clears throat> it's about to go off. I'm going to show you these, these seeds in a minute. Okay. Is the recipe on cookie do? Uh, this recipe is down in the description. Okay. So if you want to follow it at a later date, you can obviously watch this video back, but you can also check it out down in the description. The recipe, the method, everything is there for you to cook along. See, that's important for me that people are doing this. Um, it's amazing. We're getting sent so many pictures of people trying the food and the recipe. So it's absolutely amazing. Okay, our seeds are toasted. I'm going to pop the lid back on and we are going to go 10 seconds, speed 10. And this is just going to blitz everything up. It's going to be a bit loud for a couple of seconds. Here we go. It's going to grind those spices and the smell is going to be incredible. Not that loud. Here we go. Now I want you to smell this in the inner set. Okay. Right, here we go. Smell that now. Can you smell it, the difference. Yeah. So we've got our seeds, it's just been ground down. It's gonna add so much flavor and these extra stages really do make a difference. Okay, what we're gonna do at this stage, we're gonna put all the other ingredients in for our curry paste. So we have got three shallots, which have just been peeled and diced. So they go in. We've got four cloves of garlic, really nice. Adds so much flavour. Yeah. I love garlic. That's Absolutely nice. love garlic. Okay, we've got our chilies. So it's about, I reckon about three large chilies. I've de-seeded these, okay, to take the spice out because, well, it's, it's not about taking the spice out. A chili will also have a level of flavour as well as heat. Now, the real hot part of the chili is in the seeds and the pit. So if you take that out, you get more of the chili flavour rather than just the really pudgy heat. And because we've got Obviously, a fair amount of chilli going in there. It's going to be quite spicy, but it will be mild. Now we've got these dry chillies. Remember the ones that we soaked earlier on? So four of those go in. We've also got our kaffir lime leaves. Now I mentioned these. Now, if you can go and take a trip to your local Asian supermarket, you will find these for, I reckon I've got a big bag, about that big, for about a pound, okay? Now, you might say, I'm never going to use all those leaves, but, Trust me, if you pop them in the freezer, you can take them out whenever you need them, and they literally defrost in seconds. So if you get a big bag from your local Asian supermarket, they will last for so long, and you will use them up. But these have a beautiful, zesty flavor. Smell that. That's lush, isn't it? It's just such a nice smell. So I'm just gonna roughly chop this day, just roll my knife through. And as I mentioned, if you can't find cafe lime leaves, just take the zest from a lime, okay? And just chop it up. It does the same thing. It's gonna add a beautiful, fragrant, citrus flavor. Okay, next we have our lemongrass. Now, this is one of my favorite, favorite ingredients. Now, how about the smell of that? What's it smell of? 
nothing, but it's not a very light citrusy smell. But wait for this. If you bash it with the back of your knife, it starts to release those oils. No smell. Oh my gosh. How good is that? That is such a beautiful, fragrant ingredient. Can you? That's the difference, you know? So this is amazing. You can buy this in paste as well, but I think fresh you cannot beat it. And if you've got the TM6 to break it down, because lemongrass is quite fibrous, this is such a wicked way to make your own curry paste at home. So I'm just gonna roughly chop this up, about a centimeter big pieces, okay? Looks like kale. Kale? What sort of kale have you been eating? <laughs> what is the thing that looks like? Oh, asparagus. Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does look a little bit like the ends when you chop the asparagus up, isn't it? Okay, so the lemongrass is going to go in. Beautiful. This already is colourful, it's fragrant, the smells that are whipping around the kitchen are, are unreal. The next thing we've got, some fresh ginger. No. I love this stuff. This is one of my favourite ingredients. Now I've got a little tip to show you. You can carry on with, you can do a little bit of this for me as well indeed. Oh, okay. okay, you've got a little spoon there. Actually, I'm going to need spoons. I'm going to show the guys very quickly, then you can yeah. carry on. To peel a piece of ginger, now sometimes people take a knife to this and they cut it away and they waste so much of it. Just take a teaspoon and just pull that skin towards you. Can you see what I'm doing? You see it all comes off, you don't waste anything. There you go. So just peel that skin away. Very, very easy. It's quite papery, the skin. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, I did have two spoons, I wanna use it a little bit, Indy, but can you do the rest of that? Just a top bit for me? I don't know. Come on, give it a go. This is what cooking is all about. It doesn't matter sometimes if it takes a little bit longer, it's all about just getting in the kitchen inspiring. If you bring it towards you, like this, did you get, get it in your eye, did you? <laughs> right, do you see, just like that. There's not much more to go actually, Indy. There you go, there's a spoon. Okay, next thing we need for our curry paste, I'm just checking I've got everything going in, we've got some fresh coriander. Now, the herb coriander is one of my favourite, favourite ingredients. Some people love it, some people hate it. But what we're going to use in this particular recipe, we're going to use some of this beautiful fresh coriander leaves for the dressing um, and we're going to use it with the salad. But these stalks here are absolutely delicious and so many people actually throw these away. But they are packed full of flavour. So these are perfect to use within our Thai curry paste. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my knife and just chop that bit off, okay? Just pop this down there. How are you getting on? Then we've got our coriander stalks. They go into the mixing bowl as well. Okay, next one. Now this is an ingredient you might not have come across before. This is shrimp paste. Shrimp? Right, Indy. You know I'm, I'm getting you to smell it, but that is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Look at that job. Indy, well done. Right. <laughs> right. This stuff. Trust me, it doesn't smell great, but it tastes okay. fantastic. Come and have a little sniff of it. Come on. Oh, I can already smell it. Come and have a little sniff. <laughs> Trust me, it tastes better than it smells. It's a little bit like fish sauce, okay? It's fermented fish, um, fermented shrimps in this, in this case. It adds such an incredible flavour to, to this dish. Have a little sniff of um, some ginger. <laughs> We're going to add in a teaspoon. A little goes a long way, but it's also going to add a saltiness to this dish. <clears throat> now, one ingredient I haven't put into the recipe, but if you want to add a little bit of seasoning to this as well, a little bit of soy sauce will go a long way in there. Um, so, about a teaspoon, I reckon. You can always add a little bit more at the later stage. Right, the next thing we are going to do, I'm just going to pop this out of the way is add some coconut milk. So I've got 200 grams here, so I'm going to add half now because I want to help break up that curry paste. So about half goes in now. Let's pop the lid on. Oh, no, we forgot the ginger. ginger. I mean, the bit that Indy did, she slaved over the ginger. Um, so we want a nice thumb-sized piece of ginger, just chop it up roughly. There you go. Right. 
And then we're going to put that in there and we're going to go one minute, speed 10. We're going to really whip this up. So let's just stick it onto a minute. Speed 10. <laughs> love their thermomix at home I got told off after the live session finished last week I got loads of messages to my Instagram um, I tapped the spatula on the side of the bowl so a few of you got in touch gave me a verbal telling off <laughs> and consider that a slap wrist for me um, but I'm always learning when it comes to things so apparently like if because um, I was tapping that it could knock the scales out a little bit so just have to be careful with that but this curry paste looks absolutely incredible already Indiana, can you smell it as well? <laughs> Someone says, ha ha, good boy. <laughs> I know, I know. Hey, there's nothing wrong with getting the telling as long as you're learning from it. So if you see me do it again today, then you realise I've learned from that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go back on. We've got about another 20 seconds to go. This is going to fix it. This is fragrant, it's delicious. Look at the colours in there. It smells absolutely incredible. Have a little sniff, Indy. Oh my god, that smells like curry. Well it is, it's this Thai curry paste. Oh, yeah. It's, um, okay. it's, it's more fragrant than Indian curry. You know, we, we love Indian curry. Um, and it's completely different flavour profile, you know, in, in terms of that, it's, it's citrusy, it's zesty, it's lively, it's... You're going to love this. You are going to love it. Right, all I'm going to do now is going to add just a touch more coconut milk. I'm going to pop this back on, and then we're going to do 10 seconds speed forward just to make sure that all of the ingredients are combined. Okay. So 10 seconds. Speed four, then we're done. Um, Any questions? Um, also, where do you get the shrimp paste from? Uh, the shrimp paste, you can get that in some supermarkets. Again, if you can't find it in your local supermarket, I did actually find this one um, in, in my local one. If not, Asian superstores will absolutely have it. Um, if you don't, Want to use a shrimp paste or you can't find a shrimp paste, you can use fish sauce or soy sauce. So it's, it's not a necessity, but if you want a more authentic Thai curry paste, then this is what you have to use. Okay, right, so check this out, Indiana. Yeah. We've got our beautiful Thai curry paste. So I'm going to pop that there. This, the colours here are absolutely incredible. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pour some of this out. Now you will notice this will make a lot of curry paste okay now do not panic at this stage because we are actually i'm all about sort of doing things and prepping in advance so this will make quite a lot of curry paste now what you can actually do you can use this for different recipes so you can use this as a base for a thai curry you can use it in anything that kind of involves thai food basically Pop it into your freezer, into little containers. You've got your portions. It will last three months in the freezer. So, you know, rather than having to make it every single time, you can do it in bulk 
like I've done here, and you can have it ready to go. This is proper fast food. You know, when we talk about fast food, we think about takeaways, don't we? Yeah. But this is fast food. If you've got a bit of curry paste, a tin of coconut milk, some chicken, some nice vegetables, you've got a Thai curry, literally made in minutes. So it's all about planning ahead. Right, it's about time we made our little parcels, Indiana. Parcels? Salmon parcels we're making. Oh, yes. Yeah, that whole idea of the recipe. Yeah. <laughs> Right, we are going to use um, some beautiful fresh salmon, we've got a Thai curry paste, but I'm also going to pop in there, because I love the sweetness and the pop and the freshness, we've got some lovely cherry tomatoes. Okay, but I'm going to show you a great tip when it comes to just prepping the cherry tomatoes. Have you ever sat there and, you know, you, you know this one? Well, this is one I use a lot, because I think it's pretty cool yes. as well. All you need is a plate or a lid, I've just got a little plastic lid here, pop that on top of your to uh, tomatoes, okay? Keep your hand out of the way, then just get your knife and hold it horizontally and put a little bit of downward pressure and just as you go through, start to slice. You take that away and look at this. Perfectly halved cherry tomatoes every single time. I told you I'm a bit sad aren't I, when it comes to getting excited about things like this, um, but I do try and find are you stealing my ingredients? No, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> stealing my ingredients, Indiana. They're good. <laughs> they are good, aren't they? Right, we're going to make our parcels. Because there's only two of us today, we're going to make two parcels. This recipe does cater for four people. Um, okay, what we've got here, you can either use baking parchment or you can use tin foil. So what I've got, some of our cherry tomatoes, let's just pop that to one side. We've got our beautiful fillets of salmon. Now I've actually taken the skin off the bottom of these as well um, because when you steam fish with the skin on, no one likes soggy skin on fish, mm. let's be totally honest. Not really, no. Not really. I'm just going to wash my hands as well. 143 people online. Wow. It's so cool. We're getting loads and loads of hits on the YouTube channel. Um, which is amazing, but thank you very much guys for tuning in. It really, really does make a huge difference to us when it comes to cooking, you know, if you've got you guys watching, the people from all over the world have been watching as well, which has been absolutely amazing. Right, so what we've got here, we've got our tomatoes, we've got our salmon. We are going to take, I'm just going to get a spoon. Yeah, someone said I need a spoon. I do. I know. I'm the only one here with a spoon. Right, we're going to have to get you a thermomix apron in here, aren't we? Yes. Okay, Thermomix, if you're watching this, <laughs> Indiana needs an apron. Yes, please. <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of this red Thai curry paste, oh probably about two tablespoons, just going over the top of the salmon. Okay, we can add a couple more tomatoes just over the top. Then what we're going to do, almost make like a Cornish pasty. Okay, you know what a Cornish pasty is, Indy? No. It's a little crimp. Crimp parcel. I'm just going to add as well, just a tiny bit more coconut milk. I've got some leftovers, a 400 gram tin, so I've got some leftover. You can keep the remaining just to make a curry over the next couple of days, but we're going to fold it over and then we're going to crimp. So we're just going to, as we go around, just turn the edges of the parcel. With, this is, um, it's got a, a posh way of saying it, it's, it's a French technique uh, called empapillot, which basically means to cook in parchment or in paper, but it's such a wicked way to cook. So we're just going to turn that all the way around and close the edges. So you can see why I called it a Cornish pasty. Yeah, it looks like it's pasta. Nothing can escape this pouch. So everything in there just steams, all the flavours come together. But a great tip, if you grab yourself a glass, something with a nice flat bottom, just push that down on the edge. A little bit like that. Do you want to finish that one off? The reason we do this, we crimp the edges down, make sure that none of that flavour can escape from there. Okay, we're going to do one more, Indy, because there's one for me, one for you. Yeah. This time, just to show you as well, I've done this, I've got some baking parchment, so we're going to pop that on there. A few tomatoes, a lovely fillet of salmon. Now, do you want to get a little bit of that curry sauce on there? Yeah. Just want to wash my hands as much as you want. Don't want to make it spill everywhere. That's alright. There's, no, uh, there's no harm in getting messy in the kitchen, Indiana. <laughs> Not when you've got daddies to tidy up, you? 
<laughs> okay, is that good? Yeah. Right, so there we go. A few tomatoes on there. Yeah, make it look very arty. Very arty. Like okay. You could even stick some lime wedges in there, some fresh coriander, whatever you've got. Oh, you like your cherry tomatoes then? Yeah. This one's going to be yours. Yeah. Right, so we fold it over and we do exactly the same process, but we're using the parchment this time instead of the foil. But just I wanted to show you, it's easy to use absolutely any material in the kitchen, so we're going to fold that over. Are we not using any of that cherry tomatoes? No, we're not, Indiana. I know what you're aiming for. <laughs> so there we go. We make our crimp, we push it down. I'm going to pop that on my baking tray. And that is going to go into my oven, which I've preheated. 180 degrees, that's gas mark four, and that's going to take 10 to 12 minutes. So it cooks really, really quickly. Now, there is another way that you could cook this, and we are going to be cooking the rice for our dish in the TM6, okay? So what I'm going to do here, I've got my, my mixing bowl again. So this is the one I made my dressing in earlier. I've washed it out. We're going to make our rice. Now, if we wanted to steam the parcels rather than cooking them in the oven, then we could do this in the Varoma on top whilst we're cooking the rice. So it's a kind of two-in-one method of cooking. I'll just pop them in there. Um, what we've got here, we're actually going to be cooking our rice using the rice cooker method. Now, this is a, is, is a new one on the TM6, which manually gets updated. Um, so this one is fairly new uh, function on there, along with the thicken. Um, what was that noise? Oh, it's a tray in the oven. I thought, what, what was that? <laughs> um, is it, you know, sometimes when trays get hot, they pop. Um, but along with the rice cooker, they've got the thicken function as well, which we used on the first week to make custard. Um, it just takes out all the guesswork when it comes to rice. Uh, rice is one of those things, it's, it's so easy to get right, but it's so easy to get wrong as well. By doing it in the TM6 and the rice cooker function, it's absolutely bang on results every single time. So I've got 300 grams of jasmine rice here. Okay, I've just rinsed this. So just get it into a bowl, cold water, rinse it, use your fingers, give it a mix. It gets rid of some of that extra starch on the rice. So just pour that into the mixing bowl. We've also got four... Oh, um, someone said they haven't tried the function. They didn't even know that. Well, there that. you go. Make sure you update your Thermomix. Update the TM6 and the new settings for rice cooker and thicken will be on there, okay? But it's, it's such a wicked way to do it. So all we're gonna do is just scroll across, and you can see the rice cooker function is down in the bottom right-hand corner. So I've got here 400 grams of, I'm just gonna stick the, the scales on, but I'll measure this as it goes in, it's quite specific. 300 grams of rice, now you can cook anywhere between 200 and 500 grams. And because it's rice cooker function, obviously in the TM, uh, the TM5 you can do it in the simmering basket, which is, where is that? Oh, there it is, Indy. Go get me the, the little basket. Yeah. You can do it and steam it in the simmering basket if you're doing it on, um, in the TM5. Just that bottom one there. Thank you, my darling. Oh, right, I got it. And put that one back as well. Okay. A little butterfly this. So you can cook your rice in the TM5. And you can even do it in the TM6 manually. Um, rice into the simmering basket, water in there, and you can do it uh, 100 degrees. 20 minutes, perfect, bang on results every single time. So I'm gonna weigh this in as I go. So 400 grams of water. There we go. I just love how you can weigh ingredients as you pop them in. Just makes cooking so easy because actually sometimes cooking is a little bit of a science, especially when it comes to cooking things like rice. So by following the instructions and, and the exact measurements, that's how you get perfect results, Indiana. So we, we have 400 grams of water. We've also got 20 grams of oil. Now this is quite an important element to this. Have you tried the thicker mode? I have. We, we tried the thicker mode in week one when we did our custard, remember? Our um, summer berry yeah. custard. And we used the thicker mode to make a beautiful creme anglaise. And it was absolutely Perfect. Go and check it out. It's actually in the video. So if you if you go through um, the Thermomix video list, you can find week one, week two. So it's the uh, the sweet treats we called it, and yeah. takeaways is last week. So go and check out those old recipes as well. But we've got here twenty grams of oil. Now the reason we put the oil in, 
it stops the rice sticking together. So make sure, just give it a little bit of a stir. Okay. And then we are going to pop the lid off. Now, I've removed the measuring cup. Let's just pop that to one side. The simmering basket goes on top. Okay, we need to let some of the steam escape because the rice cooks by using the absorption method. So as it cooks down, you know, the rice gets absorbed by the rice and some of it steams away. But it will be absolutely perfect. The chat's going wild. The chat's going wild, is it? Yeah. Here we go. Right, so rice cooker. All you do, you turn the knob and it will tell you when it's done. Okay, but it normally takes around 20 minutes. Especially at the moment with the... Oh. It? Uh, it's just someone said, especially at the moment with the second bowl for £50. Absolutely, if you've got two bowls, it makes your life so much easier. Okay, so the rice is going to be doing this thing for 20 minutes. I have, because I always like to have a little hero in the kitchen, I've already got some cooked here, which is ready to go, because just in case we're ready to go before the rice comes out. Now, obviously, the parcel's already been in for about 10 minutes, so if we were cooking this, at the same time, I've put the rice on and then 10 minutes before the rice is finished, you stick your parcels in so everything works at the same time. Right, we're going to do our salad now, Indiana. Okay, right, are we ready? Yeah. So, what we've got here, let me just give this a little bit of wine. I want the board. I'm actually being quite clean today. For, for, for once. <laughs> right, I've got a beautiful bowl for my salad here. So. This is such an easy uh, Thai, Thai salad, but you can use any old ingredients you've got knocking up in your fridge, to be taken honest. So I'm gonna use a little bit of red pepper. So I'm just gonna cut this into buttons. You like pepper, Indiana? Yeah. Go on then, help yourself. This is why I never have any ingredients left by the time it gets around to cooking, and why she doesn't eat a lot of stuff either, because she's always full up from eating as we go. So we're gonna make some beautiful buttons of red pepper, which are great for salads. But this is all about colour, you know. Go on, there's a couple more to keep you busy. Red pepper goes in. We've got some carrot. So I'm just gonna cut this into buttons. So a great tip to do, if you take the bottom off your carrot, it gives you a flat base to cut on. It doesn't slip all over the place. So all you do then is just take your knife, I'm going to cut it, I'm going to go quite fine with this as well. You can use a little julienne peeler as well. So, all I'm going to do is just pop it on top of each other, run my knife through, and we've got these lovely little cucumber buttons, which I'm sure Indy's probably going to have a little go at as well. There you go. But this is such a beautiful, zesty summer salad. We've got some lovely sugar snap peas. So all I do, just run my knife down through, cut it in half, on an angle. You know, you want this to look good. Can you taste one of those as well, Indy? Go for it. Do you see what I mean? But these are beautiful, these peas. Um, but they work so well with the rest of our ingredients because we've got that beautiful, zesty, sweet, you know, we're going to add a little bit of heat to it as well. I might put some red chilli for it. Yeah. If, you, if any of you saw last week as well, Indy said, said no then. Last week, Indy thought she was going to be quite brave and try some, <laughs> try some fresh chilli. And she got away with it on the first bit. But on the second bit, she must have hit a hot pot yeah. because it was pretty hot, wasn't it? Right, red onion now. So I've just half the onion, I've peeled it. So I'm just going to slice this up really nice and fine. I don't know why she closes her eyes every time. I should as well, should <laughs> Okay, we've got a beautiful red onion which I've just finely sliced. Let's just pop that into the bottom. Look at the colours. I, I know, I just about to say that. The colours are incredible. Now, we've got Indy's favourite bit now. I'm going to wash my knife because I know she's going to want to try some of this. Mango. we got beautiful fresh mango. Now, if you go to the supermarket or your greengrocers, try and find one that is a little bit underripe. Okay, you don't want it really, really soft. So all I'm going to do is just take my peeler and just peel. Now, we don't need all of this mango. I'll eat half of it. You're going to eat half, are you? Yeah, I thought you might. 
So we're just going to peel it. Now, the stone of a mango, I don't know whether you've ever dissected a mango. Yeah, there's a really big stone which runs through the mango. So you can, you can see we've got a wider side and a skinnier side. The actual, the stone runs through that way. So you need to take off the cheeks of the mango. So I'm going to use a knife, just going to cut down through. That bit's for Indy. And I'm going to cut it around bite size, uh, the same size as the carrots, until you hit the stone. And I'm going to just show you. Listen to this. That's a stone in there. So once you've peeled off as much mango as you want, again, we're just going to run our knife through it and slice it into nice little batons. Is that good, mango, Indy? Now, if you get the underripe ones, they actually add a little bit of sourness to this dish as well, you know, rather than just sweetness. Okay. But the colours of this salad are absolutely incredible. So, Indiana, what I'd like you to do is pour the dressing on. We're going to give it a little stir. All over? Yeah, all over. Give it a little bit of a stir, just to make sure all the ingredients are combined. I'm not very good at stirring because I just dropped something already. You'll be absolutely fine. How are we doing? <laughs> You're doing all right, my girl. You're doing all right. It looks like a that, rainbow food. It does. Well, you know, that's what they say. You know, rainbow food is healthy food. And you can just see that just screams colour, flavour. Look at that. Beautifully dressed with that Thai salad dressing that we made in the TM6. Onion's not spicy, but everyone says it is. Well, some onions can be really quite quite fiery. Some can be really sweet. So it's all about trying your food. Um, we've got some of this beautiful fresh coriander, so I'm just going to take some of this. Let's just sprinkle that That's not bad. in the salad. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay, it's time for me to plate up. Now let's just pop this out of the way. What, what did you just eat then that was hot? That onion. That onion. So, as I said, she's just there eating everything and it just came back to haunt you, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We've got our beautiful parcels here. Now, look at these. Now, if you were cooking this for family, friends, you went to... Look at this. If you've got people around for dinner, okay, you can bring these to the table. There's actually a lot of theatrics with this um, because you can just grab the paper. Let me just see if I can do this. Hang on. I'm just going to turn my back to you a sec. But there's a little bit of theatrics. If you bring this to the table and you just open up this parcel, you've got the beautifully cooked salmon inside. Indy, can you come in round, round yeah. here? She's still eating all the stuff. No, okay, not. just pull that paper back a little bit. Be careful of the tray, though. Look at that salmon. Beautifully cooked. Look. It looks really good. There's such a wicked way to cook food. Right, let's I'm pop not that way. Really Are you I not? Think this is going to be really nice. I think this is going to be absolutely delicious. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to take some of our rice, which we cooked beforehand. Put that onto your plate. We've got a salmon there, and as I mentioned, this is going to be absolutely beautifully cooked. Okay, drop it. There you go. That comes on the plate. We want to take our cherry tomatoes. We've got the sauce and the juice try it. on this. Honestly, you need to trust me, guys. This is so good. Well, babe, it's all about flavour. It's all about the flavour. Okay, we've got some of our Thai salad now. So this is beautiful, complete meal. Got a little bit of everything going on in there. So we've got that lovely zestiness. We can add a little bit more. Maybe later I'll trick Mummy into saying, oh, do you want to smell this lovely, oh, yeah. lovely <laughs> dish? Oh, smell this. And then 
going to be like, oh my god. But sometimes you can't be put off by things like that, Andy. You have to, you have right. to try things. Now, right, if you get yourself, let's get ourselves a couple of forks in a minute. I'm going to show the guys this dish up close. Look at that. Look at the colours. And trust me when I tell you, this tastes amazing. Right, are we ready? Yep. Okay, let's have a little, let's have a little taste. So, just try some of that salmon. That is just beautifully cooked. Have a little taste now. I'm going to just show you guys this. Look how perfectly that salmon is cooked. So good. Mmm. What are we saying? That salmon is just perfect. And trust me when I say that curry sauce, it smells quite fiery, but it melts away, it, it, it softens, it's just, it's fragrant, it's not all about chilli heat. It is so good. Again, I've just checked the time. I've ran over massively, massively again. Um, let me tell you one more thing before I leave. Okay. If you want a chance to win a brand new TM6, then there is a competition. So go to uh, Thermomix UK in Ireland, at Thermomix UK in Ireland, Instagram, and Thermomix UK in Ireland, Facebook page, there will be details on there. One of you lucky lot can win a Thermomix. If you've already got one, why not win two? Go and check it out. Um, okay, I just want to finish by saying, do you want to come back and join me in the other? Yeah. Just want to finish by saying a massive thank you again to you all and your kind messages on social media. Um, it makes us really happy, doesn't it? Yeah. It makes us smile. Um, but thank you very much. It's been amazing. I'm loving cooking with my, my little girl. She does me very, very proud every single, well, every day, to be honest with you. Every day. Um, but um, any questions you have, please, please let us know. Feedback is all important. So if you want to just give me another telling off because I've done something like hitting the ball again, feel free. So you can either get hold of me on Instagram, at Dean Edward Chef, Thermomix UK and Ireland on Instagram as well. Any questions, please, please get over there. But make sure, if you haven't already, I know we said it at the start, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the notifications. What else? Like the video. Yeah, and comment. Because if you comment, it just spreads it that little bit further to your friends, your family, because um, we want people to come and check this out. Um, okay, make sure you share this all over uh, your social, social medias as well because we want everyone to see how amazing the TM6 is. Please join us next week's session where we'll be taking a look at bread. So it's one of our favourites. We love that. We're going to do a bit of baking next week. So next Saturday, the 20th of June, 11 a.m. Be there or be square. Um, we will see you next week for some more Thermomix Mix Fun in the Kitchen. See you guys. Bye. Amazing, babe. That's the mango. Mm-hmm.